Shalom, shalom. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to be talking to you about Supercolor and how to navigate the back office. And um, this is directly stemming from, let's see, let me make sure I get the name right. Make sure you go check this person out on YouTube. Um, let me get his name because I don't want to butcher his name. So let me look here at my comments first. Dean, uh, Dion clothing. So I, I saw a video that he had put out, um, yesterday, he put it out actually a couple of days ago, but I saw it, uh, yesterday, last night, actually, while I was at work. Um, he had mentioned, um, that there were issues with the super color order and, and how basically when he got his order, it did not look the same as his source files. The colors were all messed up and, I want to show you one of the things that or how you should go about um, basically creating your order. So I made an order that was um, full color transfer. I'll get it real quick. All right. So this was a full color transfer, right, that I did. And um it actually came out exactly, exactly, exactly how my source file looks. So I wanted to kind of show you the proper way of uploading your artwork and design um, so they can have the, the best way to uh, accurately depict your colors. So when you get to your back office, you're going to hit... Um, Add new job. I'm already there right now, as you can see up here. And um, check out all this information because you don't need to know my information. Um, but anyway, uh, your order number, you can put it, um, you can do anything like, uh, let's say, we're going to say, let's say source, source file number one, description. Uh, we can put, animation um animation yeah we'll just leave it like that order comment you don't have to put anything just put an a uh let's see and now so we're going to go down to the type price code right so when you click on this you have to kind of know what you're doing now they got sub block headwear um bags, umbrellas, uh, shell blockers, uh, and wearables. Now, if you're doing wearables, if you're doing t-shirts and things like that, that nature, you want to go to wearables. Now for my design, I use the, uh, the a three wearable and it's 11 by seven by 16.5. Now that means that's the maximum dimension that you can get. So on mine, it's almost like a true 12 by 12. So I just did 11.7 and I did the entire 16.5 on mine because I wanted the, the longest uh, feature and the widest feature for this my specific artwork. So when you get to that point uh, in description, you're going to just type a description. We could just put, um, uh, let's put logo, logo one. And then it's going to ask for garment color code description here. And all you're going to do, if you plan on, if you can put your design on basically anything, I would just put all. And that pretty much sums up that you want a transfer that can go on all garments, right? You don't have to be super technical um, and anything like that. Just put all. Or if you want your stuff just to go on white shirts, type in white. If you want it to go on black shirts, type in black. Orange, blue, purple, etc. To be safe, just put all. Excuse me. Now under colors, this is where I got tripped up the first time because I, 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 I almost went down this path. It says enter PMS colors or CMYK, right? What do you do? What do you do? I didn't put anything. <laughs> I didn't put anything because 
my artwork had different colors and I I didn't want to go down that path of trying to figure out the the codes and whatnot and all that stuff. I didn't so I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um I believe I just put I th- I believe I just put all or I actually I don't even think I put anything. Under size, I did the size that I wanted. And when you upload your artwork, when you upload your artwork, this is what you really want to do. Um, let's see. Let's just say, let's just say, uh, dry bones, PSD. You want to upload your source file, right? Your source file. And the reason why you want to do this is because your source file is going to be what they can open up on their own computer. So I use Photoshop. So instead of submitting a JPEG or a PNG file, it, it's more accurate if you can give them a source file. So if you're using Adobe, uh, Adobe Illustrator, submit your AI file. I'm using uh, Photoshop, so I'm going to submit my PSD file. And this allows them to actually go in on their side, confirm the colors on their side, and accurately print your artwork on their side versus using a PNG, which may slightly, um, it may, it may slightly distort the colors or, you know, it, it's just, it's just a lot easier for them to work with a source file. That's why whenever you do have any artwork or create your own artwork or have somebody else create your own artwork, always, always pay for, uh, when you pay for the artwork, always make sure that you get a source file. Because like Dion Clothing was saying, we are like basically like consumers converting to um, like small time shipper, like small time business people. So in this arena, we don't know. Supercolor is a master at what it does. They are in the industry. We are not in an industry. So when we come into their industry, we have to learn how they do their how they how they do things and so basically learning how to uh basically learn how to 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 do what's required of you is, is is very simple so try to keep it very simple if you don't know all the colors provide a provide a um a source file right and under order comments all you have to do is tell them Please refer to source file up uploaded artwork or provided and accurate color codes that's all you got to do that's all you got to tell them um now also what you have to do is you have to put in a quantity of 20 or more um this is going to generate a total and now that um i guess that i had um not really complained but i had brought it to their attention that they probably shouldn't wait till until producing the producing the um, transfers and then submitting a link to pay for them before shipping. Uh, it looks like they went in and changed it. So um, now, before you can even add a new job, you have to input or put in a credit card um, that you would like to be billed um, after you make an order and they will automatically charge it before they ship. So they're streamlining their business which is really good for us, the consumer, because, uh, or the retailer, whatever you want to call yourself. It's good for us because they're actively listening and they're actively watching videos and they're actively reading comments, emails, uh, of, of praise and concerns. So, you know, this is good. You want a company that will help streamline things for the user's sake, right? They're in the business 
to make uh, to make money, but they're also in the business to listen to their customers. The more they listen to their customers' wants and needs, the the more successful they'll be as a brand or as a company uh, to provide their services. So once you're done with this, really, you can add extra um, you can add extra uh, artwork and jobs. Uh, but when you're done, you're just going to go ahead and cr uh, click create job. It's going to send them to queue um, and just wait after that, you know, and if they need anything else, they should contact you. Um, so for the first time, when I submitted my first artwork, I submitted a PNG file and <clears throat> I got an email um, from one of the from one of the reps and they simply said, hey, we got your artwork. But to get accurate colors, can you please submit a source file? And I did. I wasn't even able to go back in here and uh, add that source file. So I had to. I replied and said, "Sure, no problem." And I provided it in the email. And I hoped that the colors were going to come out great. So it did come out great. They they referred to that source file. So that's why I said here in the artwork, just go ahead and by default submit the source file. Now, if you have any 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 um if you have any questions after you submit this so say i wanted to submit this and i'm like okay i'm gonna give them the source file but i'm not really sure if that's what they're really gonna need you have the email right here orders at supercolor.com i would just go ahead and send them an email and give them the provided job number after you generate a create job ticket and just you know, send them whatever you whatever your concerns are. Tell them, hey, look, I'm worried about color issues. I didn't submit um, the color codes um, because I don't really know all the color codes or I don't want to mess it up. Uh, I provided the source file and also put in the comments, please refer to the source file for the accurate colors. Is this going to be enough on my part? And they will reply to you fairly quickly and, and let you know what you need to do or don't need to do. But from my experience, all they need is a source file. So if you're using Photoshop, uh, Adobe Edge Illustrator, just submit the source files and you're, you should be good. All right. So signing out, hope you guys, um, hope this helps everybody. Um, and this prevents people from having a very hard time with, um, or being dissatisfied with their order if they don't follow these tips, because this is kind of a, um, like I said, this is a, this is a new learning experience for most of us. And for most of us, we, we just think that you provide the JPEG, you provide the PNG file and you should be good to go. But it requires a lot more when they're, when they're using and mixing colors and, and things like that. They need accurate, uh, color codes. And if you don't know how to provide those, um, then just provide the source file. Also, when you submit colors, uh, this is also a, um, this is also like, say you're doing something, say you're doing something that's a single color and you want to make sure, say you don't have the source file, right? You can go in, um, you can go in, uh, to like Photoshop or something like that do the, uh, uh, the color uh, dropper or whatever you want to call it so it can pull the code. Um, and then you put that code directly into the colors menu here. And that's for them to know accurately how to uh, accurately pull that color, uh, that color code. So your eyeballs got to work. <laughs> and if your screen sucks, um, then you might be disappointed when you actually get the transfers because Honestly, screen resolution has a lot to do with a lot of things. Your screen could suck and the way you see the color could be completely subjective to act to how the color actually exists in person. So that was a big thing that um Dion Clothing was saying. Uh he saw what he saw did not match what came in and it wasn't necessarily their fault. They just pulled from what he submitted. You know what I mean? So to get an accurate <laughs> depiction again of your image that you're submitting, submit the source file. Hopefully this helps a lot of people. It helps you guys um, avoid headache, heartache and bitching and complaints because uh, at the end of the day, they're just going to do what you submit. Uh, and if you don't have any inquiries or any questions, they're going to give you exactly what you, what you put in. Um, so 
save yourself uh, that heartache <laughs> and do the right thing from the very first time. All right, catch you guys later. Peace.